In today's video I want to discuss the focusing modes on the Z6 II for wildlife photography. Now there's so many different focusing modes that you can choose from and I went out about a week ago to Lake Eden which is quite close to me and took quite a lot of different photos in various different focusing modes and instead of just me talking to you about how good each focusing mode is I decided to take around 20 to 25 photos of each focusing mode and show you what they look like through my eye. Now I don't have an Atmos which is a piece of gear that sits on the camera and can record what I'm seeing through the viewfinder but I have something the next best thing which is this little recorder here that I can plug in from my camera to my computer and it shows what I'm seeing on the rear LCD screen. So you will see the way that each mode focuses so if it's tracking a bird you'll see all of that and this is so good to see because it shows you what I would have been seeing on the camera. Now before I get into the video I'd really like to thank everybody that watches my videos if you've subscribed to my videos a big thank you I'm nearly at 5,000 subscribers and I couldn't do this without people watching my videos so a big thank you to that. Now let's look at some of the different focusing modes that I use. So I used a total of 12 different focusing modes. They are dynamic area AF on a tripod, dynamic area AF on a tripod but tracking the bird, dynamic AF high extended on a tripod. Now high extended when you see this on the photos it means they were taken at 12 frames per second. All the rest of the photos were just taken in continuous high which is 5.5 frames per second. To get to continuous high extended you've got to change the, the menu over and you can shoot at 12 frames per second. But like I stated in my previous videos there are drawbacks to this but I want to show you that as long as the subject isn't moving too much you can still get great photos. And the next four I took were wide area AF small on a tripod, wide area AF small handheld, wide area AF large on a tripod, wide area AF large animals on a tripod, auto area AF on a tripod, auto area AF subject tracking on a tripod, auto area AF subject tracking handheld and the last one was auto area AF animals tripod. The last one here is the one where on the Z9 you can have eye autofocus. The Z62 and the Z72 do not have this mode and I want to show you what the problems are with this mode and I've left that one to the last. Now let's take a look at all of these photos that I took. So all these photos were taken at Lake Eden a couple of weeks ago. Most of them were taken in continuous high on the Z62 which is 5.5 frames per second. The ones that are listed has continuous high extended that is the 12 frames per second mode. And you can see here on the screen it lists the mode that I was using for instance dynamic area AF on a tripod and if I was tracking the bird when the camera was on the tripod I would say tripod moving and if it's handheld it will list it as handheld. You can also see it shows you the amount of photos that are in focus and the ones that are not in focus because I want to show you exactly how good this camera is for wildlife photography especially bird photography which is what I mainly shoot. So there's two sets of images here. The first set is in real time and the second set is at half speed and if I'm taking it in continuous high extended it will be at quarter speed to still give you the same sort of speed on the video. Now these ones were taken in dynamic area AF and I was just following this duck around. The camera was on the tripod but moving. You can see 14 photos were in focus and 8 were not. Now 
These were taken in dynamic area AF, high extended, 12 frames a second, the camera's on the tripod, and it did very well, 17 photos focused, only two not in focus. The next set here is taken up again, dynamic area AF, high extended, but handheld, so I was moving very quickly to track this duck. Now these photos were taken in wide area AF, small on the tripod, but I was trying to follow the bird as it was flying away from me, and it did very well. 16 in focus and 8 not in focus, but that's me trying to keep up with this bird as it's moving away from me. The next ones here were taken in wide area AF, small, handheld. I'm trying to photograph this little honey eater as it's feeding on these flowers here. 21 in focus, 3 not in focus. And these were taken of this duck here, wide area AF, large, on the tripod, 16 in focus, zero were not in focus. The duck was only about three meters away from me. And this is also wide area large, animal, so it's supposed to pick up the eye, but it doesn't pick up the eye, but it's still locking on and able to focus. You can see 23 on for the more in focus, only one was out of focus. Now this next mode here is Auto Area AF. I've done a very short video clip to explain to you what Auto Area AF and how it works. But you can see here, 21 in focus, one not in focus. Go into Auto Area AF, click OK, and come out of the eye. We can see now, we don't have any focusing point. You can see the outer edges of a red rectangle. There's just four corners. This is just auto area. It will try to lock on to anything that it can find. Might not find your subject. If there's a couple of subjects, it might choose another subject that you want. Now I'm using Auto Area AF with subject tracking on the tripod. And here's a short clip to explain to you how subject tracking works on the Z62. And it works exactly the same on the Z72. But this mode here is great if you want to track something that's moving around. All I have to do here, you can see on the screen just above the bottom, it says OK for lock on. So if I press OK there, you can see we've got this square white box here. If I hold the back button focus in, it's gone yellow now. Now if I move my camera around, you can see that it tries very hard to state where I put the lock on. So no matter where your subject is moving around, it will try to lock on to your subject. And I've found this very handy for birds on the water and all that, because as soon as I've got lock on, it will just track the bird anywhere I want. And if I hit the plus or minus buttons down here, it will just disappear. Okay. 
Now again, this is auto area app, subject tracking, but now I'm hand holding the camera and I have the shakes and this bird was at least 15 meters away from me. But I still got the 24 photos that I took in focus. Zero photos were out of focus. Now this is the focusing mode that everybody complains about. Auto area AF animal, which is supposed to lock on the eye of your subject. Now remember, this is animals. This is really for cats and dogs. It is not designed for birds. And you will see here that there is zero photos in focus. The 24 photos that I took were not in focus. Even though the photo is blurred, you can see fairly clearly here that I can see the eye of the duck. It should have been able to lock in if it was a cat or a dog, but these are birds. And hopefully Nikon will bring out a firmware update where we can have eye autofocus for birds. At the moment, we can't do this. And I'm showing you that this is the way it is at the moment. So you can see, even though we don't have eye autofocus on the Z6 II or the Z7 II, for me, I'm talking about the Z6 II and I'm using the Z6 II with the Nikon 200 to 500 mil. I still got some great photos and you will have seen that my success rate was very good. Over 80% success rate in just about every mode and in some modes, 100% success rate. To the people that bagged the Z6 II, it's never meant to be a dedicated wildlife camera. I know Sony and Canon have their own, but if you're a Nikon shooter like I am, this is the next best thing. And I'm very satisfied with my Z6 II for wildlife photography. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It really helps me out. Stay safe, enjoy your wildlife photography, and I'll see you next time.